Now, for people who uh, maybe they're not avid readers, how, how do we really just simplify this scandal for them? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's fairly simple. Uh, while Joe Biden was a senator, uh, Hunter Biden was a lobbyist. He worked closely with brother Jim Biden, uh, lobbying on financial matters. At the same time, Joe Biden, as senator, was working on financial matters affecting credit card companies and whatnot. Then Joe Biden becomes vice president. Hunter goes global. He starts working with the Ukrainians and the Chinese and a number of other foreign oligarchs that just so happened to be making deals in regions that the vice president was Obama's so-called point man on. So Iraq, uh, one of Joe's brothers, is working on getting a construction deal. Vice President Joe Biden was the point man on the Iraq reconstruction. China, Joe Biden was the point man on uh, you know, the China policy of the Obama administration. And then, of course, Ukraine, the Bidens are all over Ukraine, as Joe Biden is, once again, the point person on Ukraine. So the deal making happens in tandem with Vice President B Biden's policy uh, priorities. And then once this like this is where the real scandals kind of start is once Joe Biden is out of the White House right around February 2017, he's only a few weeks out into the, you know, into the private sector. That's where the big diamond comes from. Uh, Yi Jianming, this China energy executive who's been linked to the highest levels of Chinese intelligence. He gives this three carat diamond to Hunter in a hotel room in Miami. I mean, that's probably one of the shadiest things ever. Giving someone a diamond, you don't have to, you know, it's easy to slip that into your pocket, never to be declared. Um, and then really the millions start coming in. And it's at this time that Joe Biden allegedly has these, uh, taken these documents. We're not sure how many stops along the way the documents made to the Delaware home where Hunter was living, or at least uh, staying the night for long periods of time during 2017, um, 2018, 2019, 2020. You know, there's a number of years here where these documents are just floating around.